Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another book review. I'm Dr. Lisa L. Campbell, the growth motivator. And this week, I am reviewing Purpose, The Alignment Guide by Michelle Vandepass. And I want to read the subtitle, 28 Days of Inspiration, Reflection, intention and creative expression. The, the diagram that is on the, um, make sure you can see it. The diagram that's in the middle here uh, aligns with the subtitle. All right, so number one, I had an opportunity to interview this author on 52 Authors, 52 Weeks. So if you have not had an opportunity to tune in on Saturday mornings, nine o'clock central time. All episodes are stored on my YouTube channel at Dr. Lisa L. Campbell or The Growth Motivator. I have two YouTube channels. So this, this, this guide is a 28 day journey. It's a, a 28 day commitment to helping yourself get on a path to being in alignment. And let me just tell you, you owe it to yourself to do this. So this guide, Michelle talks about the fact that there is no wrong or right way. There's no single path to this journey. Do what works for you. So as usual, I'm going to go over my five key concepts. And so I think really the book provides you with a flexible approach to self-discovery. It's 28 days, right? And you may say, well, I can only do this every other day. I think the key is to make a personal commitment to do it. For me, this book makes no one size fits all approach or forward is it's it's val brace the flexibility of this guide and tailor it to you. Okay. Number two. I think that this book will help get you on the path to discovering your purpose. Defining my own purpose has been critical in guiding my career decisions, my personal decisions. And I think the book really reiterated for me the importance of aligning your actions with your values. Use the tools and the exercises in the book to explore deeply what drives you, what brings you joy, where you see the greatest alignment. I've been saying recently that I am in alignment with my assignment at 51 years of age. Now more than ever, I know what it is I am supposed to be doing on this earth in this season of my life. All right, number three. In the book, uh, Michelle talks about uh, incorporating podcasts for learning, right? And I think that's so important that as you're reading about a topic, you're on a particular day, that you incorporate podcasts into your weekly routine. I actually do the same. It helps with increasing my understanding of topics, my understanding of myself, exposure to new ideas. Um, and for me, it's what's keeping me ahead of those who don't do that, okay? So there, Michelle talks about a podcast in the book, and maybe, you know, that one doesn't align with you. Find one that challenges your perspective or enhances your knowledge in areas that you're passionate about. And 
put on your calendar time to listen and reflect on what you're learning. I have found most podcasts, you know, are can be 10 minutes, it could be 30 minutes, but you know, play around with one and, and find one that really resonates with you. All right, number four. In the book, Michelle talks about a daily action plan. And I will tell you that daily planning has been instrumental in me being effective, helping me to focus my energy on priorities and ensuring that my daily routine is in alignment with the larger goals, dreams, aspirations that I have. Beginning of this year, I created um, a vivid vision plan. And almost every day, I'm looking at the vivid vision plan. I know some of you are like, well, what is that is about? Basically, I decided the things that I wanted to do this year. So for example, one of them is interview 52 authors and then release the interview one week at a time. And you probably are wondering like, why was that a goal for me? It was a goal for me because I believe that the conversations that I'm having with real people about real issues will help someone. I think people often say, oh, well, you folks that have gone to school, you know all the things. I want to be honest. The books behind me that I have re read, reread, is what really helped me grow as a person. Remember, this is your journey. Adjust it as needed, stay flexible and responsive to what happens. All right, the last area is about energy. So in the book, Michelle talks about energy. And energy from the perspective of understanding what you got going on a day, on a day what around you is happening. Um, I was joking with someone earlier and I said, when I have hot flashes, I just want a fan. I need everybody to leave me alone, allow me to get through the hot flash and I'm good. But when people are like tugging on me, which is a trigger, Michelle talks about triggers in the book. When people are tugging on me and all that stuff, it's like, ah, right? So the energy around you, I, I have found that I spend a lot of time by myself. And I know you're thinking like, well, do you get out and, uh, you know, be around people? I do. But one of the things that I'm big on is protecting my emotional real estate and being in tune with my own energy levels, my own mood has allowed me to optimize my activities and engage more deeply when my energy is at the highest. Because when your energy is low, you don't really need to be engaging with people, right? Monitor your energy levels throughout the day. Schedule your tasks that are like more demanding during your peak energy days, and then do the lighter tasks when you need a recharge. So in summary, Michelle's book, Okay, guys, Michelle's book, it offers flexible and practical strategies for anyone who is looking to refine your own understanding. Seek first to understand yourself. And she does this in this 28-day format. Embrace it fully over the 28 days and beyond and you will get something from it. Remember, your path to discovering your purpose is uniquely yours. I'll see you next week.